What's up, independent artists, man? Let me tell you something. Let me put y'all niggas on game, independent artists. Stop saying things are not working out, bro. You think everything you drop is a hit. You, you got to know what is an album song, what is a hit song that you push, a single to push, and what is an EP song, you feel me, and what is trash. And on the two things, y'all niggas doing what everybody doing. Stop trying to be like every other rapper or every family rapper coming up and thinking, oh, if you sound like this rapper, or if you do things this rapper do, it's going to work. Listen, I'm going to tell you, man. Take your time. The first step, bro, is to take your time and write your music. Don't force yourself on the beat. Feel the beat. Write something that people will love to listen to, people will want to listen to. You feel me? And take your time to write it. You know, you have a chance. Don't let, listen, don't let these niggas force you to hurry to sign a deal. You feel me? Create leverage. The streaming platforms right now are giving you the opportunity to be able to create leverage with your music. So that way, the labels would not be able to force you to do all type of fuck shit just to get a deal. You'll be able to make your demands and list your stipulation on what you to do and what you will not do. Don't worry about this rap niggas taking over. They are sold, they souls to Illuminati. Now, bro, I'm not trying to put the rap niggas down because they had no other way. But, but to sign their souls, sign their they, they, they rights and their masters and all that shit, and they saw the way to make it. We gave birth to this era of streaming. But, my nigga, you saw at the end of the day, you sold your soul. So they will never be able to make good music. Independent artists, stop following them. Find your own sound. Make your style of music something different. Stop talking about shoot them up, gang banging, gangster shit, all that shit. You have to learn genre. There's gangster rap kind of genre. That is a genre of its own. You feel me? You have to know what genre you want to go to, whether R&B, pop, hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, where you have gangster hip-hop, you have soul hip-hop, you have your rap, you know, you have R&B and hip-hop, you know, you have gospel hip-hop, so you have funk, you have rock and roll, those are different genres. Find the genre, the genres are the type of music you want to make, you know? If you want to do gangster music, everybody's doing gangster music. So it's overcrowded in gangster music. So you have to find a different genre and perfect your skills. Do you understand? Put out music and promote yourself. Put a Spotify playlist would be the best for you to promote yourself. I, you you rather want to blow on Spotify because if you blow on Spotify, labels will sign you quick. If you blow on YouTube, the returns are not that much. No, Spotify returns are not that much, but it's more than YouTube. And it's more sustainable. It's four band, four million views. And it's 400, 400,000 views. So it's more than YouTube is paying. And when you blow on Spotify, the trick that people don't tell you is when you blow on Spotify and use Spotify playlists, labels look at you more and they're more interested to sign you more than you blowing up on YouTube. See, bro, you have to understand, bro. Bro, it doesn't take a day. You have to understand why these niggas blow up like that. City girl, little baby, young thug, all the niggas. They had people putting money into them. You don't have that, people. 
You know, that is promotion. The money you don't have in these, and you have to get that in your head. The money to invest in your... If you had the money to invest in your music, to pay all the radio stations in America, to play your music, because that's what these labels do for their artists. They have the money to take them on, on radio run, on press run, you feel me? To play all the music around the world in America. That's how they able to generate money like that. You feel me? To get streams and put on playlists. This labels use Spotify playlists. So that's why I tell people, I'm not trying to sell you something. You feel me? I'm trying to sell you that rabbit products. But that rabbit has the best services for independent artists. Because that's what I'm using to grow my little buzz and my fan base. You feel me? And they shit work. You feel me? So, so far I've tried it. It worked a little bit that I'm trying. And I'm still trying it. You feel me? When it's not working good, I will tell you. But, but for right now, it's working a little bit. And you feel me? My shit is growing a little bit. So, independent artists, bro. So, when you do that, bro. Like, bro. First thing. And then that's not tell you, bro. When you take your time, write your song, bro. Buy you your beat. You feel me? Get it professionally engineered. I'm talking about let it sound good. You feel me? Let it sound good. Because, bro, a lot of people don't engineer your shit. You feel me? And be careful getting engineered by all the other artists because they're not going to make your shit sound like they shit. You feel me? And when you get it professionally sound, bro, you feel me? You get your distributor, whether that rabbit or whoever. But I, but I will advise you that rap, you feel me? Because they have more to offer for you. You feel me? And you get your distribution, you get your shit on Spotify, YouTube, and all that. Then comes the promotion. See, there's a promotion with the market, and that people always tell you market your music, you know what I'm saying? And how you promote your music. You feel me? They're, 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 you feel me? You, you have IG promo. You feel me? You have other promos, you know what I'm saying? IG Mark Zuckerberg taking y'all information and selling y'all data. So I would say IG promotion is, is bad, definitely bad. Because you're just building up your data for somebody else to steal and sell it. So what you want to do is Spotify promo. See, because Mark Zuckerberg cannot sell that. And Spotify is not going to sell your data. You feel me? Because that's your data. You feel me? Spotify don't do that bullshit. iTunes don't, they don't do that bullshit. You feel me? Because that's your data. So, like I said, bro, like, and that's where you need to put money in. You need to find your Spotify playlist. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, bro, if you want to do IG promo, you know what I'm saying? Reach more people, but just be careful. You could do that. Those are two most things right now that I know that work in some blogs and you know what I'm saying. But the others, man, but other than that, bro, don't do that. What I say, use the streaming site, promo promotion, is because of this right here, this reason. I would, see, you on the streaming platform, Spotify, iTunes, on it, I would use streaming promotion because I want to reach those people that stream music. See, you don't want to see social media. I right, hold on. I will, I'll be back later on. I'll be back. Hold on.